Imagine that you have a great idea, either the next Twitter, the next ride sharing app, you name it, but you just don't know where to start. You don't know what platform to use and you're really not good at coding. What should you do? Look no further than Marbleism. We're gonna be trying out this platform where they're going from zero to one in minutes. That's right, this platform is saying that you can generate apps in just over a few minutes. A couple examples would be a pool sharing marketplace like Air, uh, like Airbnb, a social app like Twitter, and a project management app like Asana. We're gonna put this to the test. We're going to start the process, create an app, and then see what happens. Now, what I did was I created an account real quick, but I haven't done this at all yet. And uh, we're gonna go through the process of this. In the comment section down below, if you're interested, let us know if you wanna see more videos like this. And if you want a guide to create your very own app, there's a link down below as well. Now, let's begin. So Marbleism allows you to start for free. We can do two apps generated in five iterations. So we logged in, we're gonna call this app Pocket Empire, let's see, uh, Pocket Empire um, Alpha, let's do that. Type of project, SaaS, Marketplace Internal Tool, we'll say SaaS. That says project description, a social app like Twitter where users can post, comment, and like tweets and follow each other. It says now read more about prompt best practices. We have this, so it's describe all the features of the app. Now I did that, I'm doing an app similar to like a micro SaaS. And again, I was on ChatGPT, wrote a couple things and have this. So I'm saying it's a SaaS platform where you can provide access to curated databases, uh, to a curated database of top rated tools like Product Hunt. All right, so we're gonna have this. Copy this over. Let me make sure I'm having this. So describe the description. So it says project description prompt. So it's a little bit more than that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mention a few things, what you can do. I'm gonna add this. And what I did was I looked at the service description, what I wanted to add. And then I, I, I broke down how many pages that I thought I would need. A user login, user profile page, description, uh, subscription page to take payments, homepage to search a database of top tools. Uh, and then I said features right here too. I'm going to reorder this, just my own personal preference. Uh, I'm going to make this dark mode. And we're going to say next. So it's analyzing the requirements. This may take up to a minute. See what happens. Okay. So it says this page included by default and cannot be removed. So a home page. And it says a user. I can search a database. Okay, cool. Add user story. Now I wonder what that means. So let's see, profile page, notification, authentication, nice. Let's see what add user. Oh, it's like as a user you can, so it's kind of telling more. Um, okay, cool. So it made a home page, subscription page, tool uh, tools, details, um, authentication, notifications, okay. Add a page, toggle user stories. Let's go with next. So now we have, hey, two quick questions while it's loading. Why did you try Marbleism? Let's just say, a friend suggested I should try it out. I'm looking for an option build my micro SAS idea. Okay. So it says six tables have been generated. 
Okay. So it's done stuff with the, um, so basically a database. Interesting. Okay. Now it's generating the code base. This may take about five minutes. All right. I'm gonna say a little, do I know how to code a little? Ask me to join their Discord. I might do it. And then as we're waiting too, there's this documentation right here that kind of gives you the, the prompts of what you can be doing. And that's what I went through a little bit of what I would be, you know, adding and everything like that. Let's look at the capabilities. It says, Marvelism is great for SaaS apps, marketplaces, social apps, internal apps. Who Marvelism is great for? Founders, CTOs, freelancers, indie hackers, tech agencies, and students. Now let's talk about the limitations. It says, while you can still benefit from the generator boilerplate code, Marvelism is less suitable for inability, uh, yeah, inability to create apps relying on external plugins such as Shopify app. Challenges in handling complex consumer apps like Uber, where real-time tracking of drivers may pose difficulties. Not suitable for non-technical users. A basic understanding of web development mechanics is required to get started. You can still generate the code as a foundation to integrate other, any third-party APIs you want. Okay, cool. Then we go into the prompts right there. Let's go into the workspace. The workspace is your ultimate development platform that lets you view and iterate on your app. The session integrates the chat, Michelangelo, I love it, an app, de an AI de developer that makes change any changes on the fly. I love that. How does it work? Start a session with your project overview. And then you have Michelangelo chat. Okay, so you can add things, fix issues. So my question is, ah, yes. Let's take a look at the back end. So when you generate an app with Marbleism, your back end is already fully functional and customized to your project. What? You create all the and we create all the endpoints and services you need. Let's walk you through the main concepts and how to and how to get comfortable with your back end. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's look at the front end. See, Marbleism front end is bu is built using a beautiful design system called Ant Design. Interesting. All right, let's see if it's done. Okay, it's done right here. Now we have the overview here. Interesting. Give access to your code base, launch project ID, hosting. Click to deploy your application. Deploy in production. Interesting. Let's look at the overview. Launch. Okay, so we'll take another five minutes here. Check out the hosting docs. It'll only take one minute read. So hosting. How does it work? App build. First, uh, the first step, build your app using the command. Okay, run. Okay. Common errors. Some errors only occur when you deploy your project for hosting. Launch your workplace. Review the tab logs and rerun. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. See, Marvelism automatically configures a Postgres SQL database. The database URL will be included in your environment variables. Very interesting. Finally, your infrastructure is created in Available in your subdomain. Common errors. By default, your mono repo starts your, your web and server applications with correct settings. In case you've changed it, check the following. Your web package starts with the port. Okay, server package. Maintenance. Deploy latest version. Builds with the main branch and releases a new version. Very interesting. So, from what I can see, and as I'm going through this, um... This is something that could speed up the process a lot if you're trying to build 
the different terms, I don't think this is right necessarily if you're only using no-code tools like Soft or Glide. If you're looking at more advanced ones like Flutterflow or WeWeb, I think this might be a good suggestion or a good thing to have. Well, you know, time will tell, but just the documentation, what they're going to be able to do, things like that. That's what I'm feeling. See, okay, so we're ready. Okay, go to workspace. Okay, welcome to Marbleism. Hey, Doc, while it's loading, read our guide to learn how to prompt AI to make on the fly changes. The AI might have its quirks, so so you're expected to do some coding as well. Okay, so if you have any problems, join us. Goes back there. Okay, and we're still getting a preview. So we have a bad gateway right there. And again, they were saying you're gonna have to do some things. So right here. So we have VS Code right here, it looks like editor yep logs email so the thing that i'm looking at here i think that is still pretty special it's spinning up things so quickly that if i was trying to develop something and i had some level of skill with coding i think this could be a really good iteration um again what do I see here? I see a lot to do with VS Code. I'm going to be doing some coding and it tells me that. What I would say is I think this is just a very good leg up if I'm going to be trying to create things. Um, I think I would have to look at this. I'd want some more language showing that it's for developers right off the bat. But I think it's so slick, just anyone would be like, I can pick it up right off the bat. Um, so that's something I'd be interested in, um, just deep diving. So, you know, we're looking at about almost 14 minutes. I'm getting some errors, but again, I can go and, and go step by step. But if I'm looking at this, I'm, if I was going to try to... The, the, well, I think the main thing, it's just not for non-developers, right? So it looks very sleek and like anyone can do it, but you're still going to have to go through these different things. So right here it says review the tab logs and rectify issues. So okay. Okay. And this is where I'm like, I don't think it's a huge, huge problem if I was used to writing code or something like that. Uh, but this is intimidating a lot of times when I'm, you know, just getting started. We talked about this where I just finished a course or I'm in the middle of it, uh, how to build a web app. So it's the boot camp, how to build a, um, a micro SaaS. And again, learned a lot, but if this is something where you would have to be somewhat proficient or being able the time to start mapping out what's going on, all of those things. So something to consider. I think it has a lot of potential. Again, I'm going to, have to do some research. I think this is probably an easy fix. I'll talk to one of my dev friends. They're going to be just walking me through all those things. But I just think about a lot of those things like what's on Rails, what will help you build so much quicker and have the confidence. I mean, just, and very different use case, very different use case. But that's where we kind of go with some of the things with with softer, right? Um, softer, it's on Rails. It's very hard to break. Um, it's going to allow you to onboard and just feel, have, um, be confident and and have something built right out the box. I think this is a really good, step where you're going to have everything that you need to move very quickly, but you're still going to need the proficiency and just any, the wherewithal of what you need to be doing here. Um, and those are first impressions. We're going to dig in a little bit deeper, see what's going on here, and then come back if people want us to do more about Marvelism. 
Uh, very interesting. We could try another one, uh, another mock-up and see what happens. But first impressions, you know, I do these to kind of what I think, who it's for, all those things. And remember, this channel is for non-technical founders um, and, and first thoughts and everything. So if you like this video, if you like what I was doing, you want to see more, um, and we deep dive in a little bit with marbleism, let me know. And we'll continue the journey using this and going from zero to one. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. I do this every single week. I'll see you in the next video.